Dark Aether. It's been a minute, but we're back in some camos for our second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from I'm Right, saying that he wants to do the creepy Easter egg on Forsaken doing any weapon of our choice. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. If you don't know what Easter egg they're talking about, I'll get into it once we get into game. But really quick, the weapon I chose is the baseball bat. I almost have this thing level 30. It's level 28, uh, basically level 29. So it shouldn't be too hard to get it up to 30. But I have absolutely no camos for this. I just hopped into multiplayer real quick and try to get it as leveled up as I could. But we need to get 750 kills with it. 50 kills while melee stun monkey bomb you guys know the drill 750 while it's pack a punch 15 kills while an aether shroud 10 special or elite eliminations 10 kills rapidly and then our jackrabbit medals but we are really close to having every weapon on this account done i think the only weapons i don't have are the cane the battle axe the hammer and sickle and the scythe those are literally the only weapons we have left to get dark aether on this account so try to keep that in mind when you're leaving your suggestions uh we're gonna be hopping into this game with aether shroud and let's go ahead and hop in forsaken and try to get this thing done all right so if you don't know about the creepy ghost easter egg otherwise known as the perkaholic easter egg uh it's a side easter egg here on forsaken that was found a little bit after the map came out basically what you got to do is play like simon if you guys don't know what simon is i know it's kind of outdated uh it's just like colors will flash in a certain order and then you have to you know hit them in that exact order back and then once you do that there's gonna be this ghost slenderman looking guy with like a, a suit on that'll follow you around he's like a mannequin or it's like a, a weeping angel i think is what, what they're called called where as long as you're not facing them they're gonna come after you the second you look at them they'll stop so that'll make the melee weapon grind a lot more interesting we're gonna have to be moving around anyways but if he touches you you die you're just done like he will instantly kill you and there's a whole thing where if you use tombstone in a specific spot on the map and you take him out uh you will get perkaholic it'll give you every perk in the game but uh, I think for this challenge, we're not going to be taking them out. Just to add a little more spice to it. But there we go. We got the, our bat level 29. Oh, I did not mean to hit that nuke. I mean, I did, but I thought it was going to be double points or something. I've only done this Easter egg one time. Uh, I did it with Cruxel Chase. You guys probably know him. You probably see him around, seen him, seen him in some streams. But I had him hold a zombie for me while I was doing it. So it's going to be a little tough trying to do it alone today, but I think we'll manage. Right now, I'm just trying to build up points. So I can buy my way to the spot where we can start the Easter egg. And I think we're going to need a gun. You could probably do it with a melee weapon, but I'm probably going to end up picking this up this Diamati over here. Or some sort of like single shot weapon. Uh, let's get our Aether Shroud kills in really quick while we have the chance. There we go. And I think I might just stick with Aether Shroud as my field upgrade this game because... Once we get into the Easter egg, you'll see why we need it. I don't want to stay in here too long. I need a, a slow zombie that I can train around. So let's start up our teleporter. The bat's actually a surprisingly decent melee weapon. It swings like very fast, you know, in relative to like the scythe, which is the last melee weapon I did. Pretty fun to use too. My only gripe about the scythe is that you can't really inspect it or not the scythe, the bat. I mean, the bat has a cool inspect animation where it's more just like a taunt. You kind of just point at the zombies. I think it's supposed to be like an homage to like Babe Ruth, but I wish it also came with the inspect because I'd like to see what the weapon actually looks like. It's like when you inspect it, you actually see less of the weapon, but I think we have enough. Let's go ahead and hop on through. I think I'm going to grab Jug while we're right here. I'm going to open this up, grab this loose change, get quick revive. We'll open this and head on through this portal. Now we're in the area where we could do it, but we need to get a few things going here. Let me open this up. I will grab my teleporter part while I'm here, get my loose change from here. And then I'm going to clear out this round a little bit. I'm going to try to leave one zombie. The bat is actually such a satisfying weapon to use. Look at this. It's just pop, 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 pop sleeping all of them i'm pretty sure there's like a blueprint you can get like a bundle blueprint where it's uh like barbed wire which is pretty cool or it might have nails in it something like that it's very like walking dead-esque oh you know what would have been perfect instead of just having somebody come in and train the zombies around doing nothing they could actually just do nothing and come stand right here does it work anymore do they patch this? Oh, it does still work. You can kind of see that zombie over there by that, that orange wall just standing on the stairs. Cannot move. So maybe I should have had some assistance with this, but I think we're ready to start up this Easter egg. The first thing we got to do is come into here. Where is our TV part? There it is. But over here on the desk, there is this VHS player. And we need to find the VHS tape for it. And that tape is over here in the VHS store right on the side of this cabinet. I don't know if you can see it laned up against the wall there, but we have to throw a nade at it to knock it over. I think we got a hit marker for it, meaning that it did fall over. Oh, there we go. We can pick it up. Zombie, can you get away from me, please? So I can grab this. Thanks. There we go. We got it. Oh, wait, no, we didn't. There we go. We actually just grabbed Intel. Zombie. 
All right, well, we need to go through a whole nother round because that zombie wanted to corner us. Oh, and I forgot to grab a gun, so let me go look for a wall buy. There's an M4 right here, but that's a little expensive, a little too rich for my blood. I think there's like a 1911 wall buy somewhere over here. There's a DMR. There's the PP. I think I'll just take the DMR. Give me that. What scope do we have on this? I would prefer no scope, but that's fine. Now we can work on slimming this round down. Oh, I actually forgot one thing. Hold on. All right, so I just made a quick trip back to spawn to grab death perception, and I'm grabbing mule kick right here because for part of this Easter egg, we're going to need to use either decoys or stuns just to keep the zombies away from us, and I'll have a better chance of getting more scrap with death perception, meaning I can craft more decoys, and with mule kick, I'll be able to hang on to them or at least have the chance to. All right, I got a round down to two zombies. I think if I kill one, the other one will start like sprinting or just be faster. So I'm going to leave the two. They can be friends. They'll keep each other company. Let's grab our decoys. I'll be a little bit of armor too. All right, now we can actually get started on this Easter egg. So let's hop over here. Zombie, why you got to spawn in here, man? Hold on. Let's get this degenerate out of our TV store. Yeah, don't try to throw shit at me. You're the one on the other side of the counter, dickhead. Get over here. Learn some manners. So let's go ahead and throw our VHS in the tape. Our little VCR. You guys fuck off for a minute. Okay, it's starting. Do I have to go up to it and start it? Okay, green, red, orange, blue. Green, red, orange, blue. Green, red, orange, blue. Okay, so we made it through the first one. Zombies, if you fuck off. Green. Oh, two, three, four, one, three, four. Okay, I already lost count. I'm going to need to write this down. The real challenge is about to be if my little noodle can handle all these numbers. But just to be clear, I'm assigning the numbers. This is one, two, three, four. They go in order from left to right. And since I can't really see the color too well in Aether Shroud, that's what we're going to be going with instead of calling them like green, red, orange, blue. Okay, so what's the most optimal way to do this? I, don't, I already don't remember the order, so I'm just going to shoot one. Okay, so that was wrong. How do people do this solo? I would try to make a crawler, but I feel like I just killed the zombies with my nade. And I want to get this done as soon as possible. That way we have enough time to, you know, hang out with Slenderman. Let's try to go right here. Okay, so we have one zombie left. That one wasn't cooperating. I'm going to throw the decoy right there and I'm going to go try this. I'm going to Aether Shroud when I start it up. So let's do this. Aether Shroud. Go ahead and start. Okay, four... Two, one, three, four. Wait, I said four and shot two. Hold on. Three, one, four, two. Three, one, four, two. I'm writing this all down on my on my notepad on my phone. Three, one, wait, one, four, two. Okay, let's pay attention to this one now. Three, one, four, two two, one, four, three. Two, one, four, three. So it's the same as the first one, then two, one, four, three. This zombie's really fucking annoying. I don't know how people do this solo at all. Most of this, I feel like I'm just gonna have to cut out. It's just gonna be me struggling. Three, one, four, two, two, one, four, three. Okay, I need to pause and collect myself. We made it through two rounds of it. Okay. Three, one, four, two, two, one, four, three. So it's looking like it's doing the same thing. Three, one, four, two. So it's basically doing the same set of numbers forward, backwards, and then forward again. One, four, two. Is that it? I think we got it. Now what happens now? Interact with the television? Okay, now it's all gray. It's looking like the Better Call Saul final season now. So whenever it turns gray like that, that means he's nearby. I don't see where he is. Oh, there he is. So this is what he looks like. And he'll, he'll slowly move towards us and he'll just appear randomly. So now that's what we got to deal with while we try to get this thing Dark Aether. Ooh, okay, we finally got that done. It actually didn't take as long as I thought it would. But now we can actually work on trying to get power on or lifting lockdown. Okay, where's our fryer? Give me that. I just got to always be in like a room or somewhere where I have an exit. Because that guy's going to follow us until the game is over. So I'm going to try to thin out this round so I don't have a whole horde of zombies coming after me while I'm trying to take out 
out that abomination. Oh, and we're finally at level 30, so we can start working on our jackrabbit medals. Oh, I accidentally ended the round. All right, whatever. We'll just move on. We need to get pack a punch like right now. Let's grab elemental pop too. That'll help us out. Let's hurry up and fix this teleporter before zombies start spawning. There we go. And if you were to try to complete this Easter egg, what you have to do is get tombstone. Oh shit, he's here. Uh-oh. As soon as I'm talking about him, but what you need to do is get tombstone. Come in here and go down right about where we, we just first saw him at. Oh shit. If we go down right there, he'll he'll teleport over top of this vat. And then it's basically going to be like an aim labs thing where you're training your aim. You just have to shoot the correct one. He's going to like hit double team on you like it's Pokemon. And you have to shoot him until you hit the, the correct version of him. And if you can do that, like however many times, then he'll go away. You revive yourself and you get Perkaholic when you get back up. So it's pretty cool, but just for today, we're not going to be doing it. Maybe when we get it done, we'll see. Or I might just have him kill me just so you can guys see what that's like. Because I already have a video of us completing it. I don't have a video of us dying by it. It's Aether Shroud, come here, Abomination. Get the bat. Abomination got no kisses today because I'm on edge. There we go. Abomination is toast. There's our grudge camo, 250 kills with it. Our actual kills are going to be so far ahead of our pack-a-punch kills. It's going to be ridiculous. I wonder if you can come up here. I don't think I've ever tried to go up here with that active. But we got our lockdown lifted. I'm going to grab PhD while we're here. Probably should have not done that so I can grab Pack-a-Punch, but that's fine. I guess right now I can grab Shatter Blast on this. That'll help with some Jackrabbits. I keep going back and forth on whether or not it helps with getting camos for this or it doesn't. So I feel like it does help with Jackrabbits, but it hurts every other challenge. Like, yeah, I don't think I'm getting Pack-a-Punch kills with it. I don't think I'm getting the kills rapidly, but it counts for the Jackrabbit medals. Like, I have a, a, a weird relationship with Shatter Blast and melee weapons. Oh, shit, he's here. What's going on, fella? And as you can see, bullets do not affect this man. He does not care. He will just chase right after you no matter what. I just need you to fuck off for a bit. What's going to really suck if is, is if a mimic pulls me over towards him. That's going to freak me out. But I think since we do have quick revival, we'll get back up. It's just we'll, it's an immediate down if he touches you. All right, it's time to go get Pack-A-Punch. Let's go ahead and snag it. This is what Pack-A-Punch 1 looks like on the baseball bat. Probably can't see it because the inspect animation for it's kind of trash. But uh, if I swing it, you can see it a little bit. Looks pretty nice. I kind of want to stay up here and see if he spawns here. I'll stay up here as long as I can before the radiation starts, like, taking me out. Oh, yeah, the fucking demon's in here. Or that's just the radiation kill me. I don't know. Either way, it scared me the second it started doing damage. I actually, like, jumped a little bit. But this has got to be one of the coolest Easter eggs, if not the coolest Easter egg in this game. Forsaken has, like, so many sick side Easter eggs. It's amazing. Like, this has got to be, like, the best map to, like, find little secrets in. Like, it has that demon Easter egg that we just did. It has the bubby Easter egg, which is this guy right here. If you find all the, the bunny parts which you get by using like PhD slider on things on the little like craters in the ground. Oh, he's here. I don't know where he is though. Okay, he's, he's all, way over there in the corner. You can stay over there, you little fuck. I'm pretty sure there's an Easter egg right over here by shooting all these like targets or something. And then you can get like an Aether Wrench. There's all the arcade games inside. You can go to Noct. There's like the Dorizen Drac one, but it's basically just the Outbreak version of it. Oh, I forgot about special or elites. We need to focus on those. Well, I mean, if they can spawn some in for us. I wonder if you can get us while we're like, I mean, Aether Shroud, you're not invincible. Zombies just don't see you. But if we use something like Frenzied Guard, where we only take armor damage, I think he'd probably still insta knock us. I wonder if there's just a way around it, though. <gasps> Next time he spawns in, I'm going to try out the glitch spot. I want to see if he'll stand still if we go there. If that's only like zombie AI logic that doesn't move. But one Easter egg I forgot. Oh, shit. There's an abomination right here. Hold on. Yeah, charge at me, pal. But there's a arcade machine up here, top floor of the of the bar. And if you use PhD to kill a zombie right next to it, you can start a RCXD race around this whole area of the map, which is really cool. And there's probably a few side Easter eggs that I'm forgetting about, but there's just so many on this map. It's, it's cool that there's enough for me to forget about, you know, like they really put their heart and soul into this map and I really appreciate it. Oh, he's back. Okay, he's here. Uh, I don't think he's going to be close enough for us to see if it works, but I'm going to train around the arcade for a while. Wait for him to spawn back in and then we're going to go to try up and use the glitch spot. It's going to really suck if he spawns right next to the glitch spot though and we're just trapped. Abomination, get down here. What are you hiding up there for? Come here. You're done. You need to go to bed right now. Night, night time. Come on. Okay, you're hurting me. You should probably not do that. You should also open your fucking mouth, Abomination, please. So I can put my bat in there. Stop charging at me every two seconds, dickhead. You really are a cocksucker, you know that? I'm gonna Aether Shroud. 
knock his fucking lights out, and then we can finish off our Aether Shroud camels right here, unless we already have them done. We already might have them done. I want to go through this portal to the crafting table. Oh, wait, he's here. I was just about to say, I want to go do that, but I'm afraid he'll show up while I'm doing it. So let's go right here. No, I slid right off. Damn it. Don't you touch me, you little demon fuck. You can stay right there. I just want to see if this works before you disappear. I think he disappeared. Damn it. And I slid right off. Fuck this controller drift. I need a new controller. All right. Well, he just showed up, so I know he's not coming back, at least for a little bit. I need to go buy decoys. Let's use the one that we have first. All right. Come here, decoys. Let's get our armor loaded up. Come on. This controller drift's got to fuck off. I changed my mind on sticking with Aether Shroud throughout this whole game. I feel like it's not helping too much with uh, the Jackrabbit medals. So let's try Tesla Storm. And you know what? Let's go get Pack-a-Punch 2. We have enough money. There's also a few other perks we should probably get. Let's grab Pack 2. There we go. This is what it looks like. Can't really see it too much. But it looks pretty decent. I mean, from what we can see. All right, we're going to throw a decoy behind us. First, take out the Mimic. Throw another decoy behind us. And what perks do we need? Like everything. We grabbed as much as we could afford. I don't know how I didn't get stamina up earlier. This feels so much better. But all you guys need to be on another decoy so I can get some camos. Oh, he's back. He's here. I don't know where though. It's scary seeing the the effect pop up and not knowing where he is. Because he could be anywhere. Oh, the side Easter egg I forgot. The the Ronald Ray Gun pizza delivery one. That one's pretty unique. You can actually get a ray gun from that. I can't believe I forgot that Easter egg. Oh, we're at our bloodshot camo. We're at 500 kills with our bat. We're probably pretty behind on pack punch though. And jackrabbits for that matter. I have not been very diligent with those. Okay, we're at 20 for our distracted kills. I just keep getting hit though, so I don't know where we're at on our jackrabbits. But let's try to kill two birds with one stone right here. Okay, I don't, this, that's what I hate about stuns. As I throw them at a huge horde and there's still going to be zombies that come in after that didn't get stunned and just hit me while I'm trying to get the ones that were. This post was made by Decoy Gang. Oh, he's here. He's right here. Okay, let's try to do this little glitch spot and see if it works on him. Okay, we're jumping up and I immediately slid down. He's floating in the air now. So that's something different. Yeah, get out of here. All right, I don't know if I'll be able to try this glitch spot. My controller keeps drifting and it's kind of just pissing me off. But let's just go ahead and assume that it doesn't because he started ascending into the heavens once I stepped there. Okay, we're at six jackrabbits. We need four more. Oh, he's here again. Let's go on beach. Can I stick you? Nope. Fuck you. Oh shit, he's here. I'm trying out the glitch spot to see if it works. The zombie stop moving. He has not. It does not work on him. So that is the counter to the glitch spot. Oh, and he's going to flow all the way down here. So I guess it don't matter where you're standing at. He'll just has a direct path to you and he just moves in a slow, menacing pace. Oh, there's our rotten camel. We're all done with our normal kills. We're just going to need a whole lot of pack-a-punch kills and some specials and a few jackrabbits. We just got a lot more to do. All right, let's go ahead and grab the rest of our perks. So we'll get tombstone and dead shot and let's get pack three. There we go. This is what it looks like, kind of. Still really annoyed at the inspect animation. Can we just talk about for a second how stacked the spawn room is? There's an armor stand right there. There's a crafting table right there. And then through that portal is Pack-A-Punch. This is just like the best area to train zombies at, to go for camos at. I just wish the truck spot still worked. They took it away for no reason. It wasn't even that good, but it was just a spot that you could chill at. You could hang out with, you know, nice little truck here. Optimus's little brother. And they took it away for nothing. Oh, there's our boundary camo. We're at 30 while they're distracted. Oh, and there's conviction. We're all done with jackrabbits. Let's go. So I guess Shatter Blast does help out quite a bit with those. I wonder if I'm done with our special or elite eliminations. Let's see. Okay, that mimic's pretty fucking toast. Yeah, I think we are. We just might need our kills rapidly and distracted. And of course, our pack of hunch kills. Can't forget those. There's threshold. Okay, 10 more distracted kills. Oh, what's up, demon man? You're kind of in the fucking way of my train. So if you could like not, that would be fantastic. That's going to suck when I'm in like a tight spot trying to train around. And he's just like, oh, that sucks. I'm in your way. Okay, this should be it for our distracted kills. I hope so. There it is. There's chemical. We're all done with chemical. That's weird. I've never gotten pack a bunch done before like other camos in this. Maybe besides like jackrabbits. So let's see if uh, our distractors are done right here. We got to level up. Is that gold viper? Hey, let's go. So our distracted was our last camo. Okay. Oh, I was about to say next time our VHS guy shows up, we're going to let him take us out. And since I've already done a video on what it happens if we take him out, I'm going to let you guys go ahead and watch that if you want to see what happens there. But let's see what happens if he, if he touches us. He kind of just walked into us and nothing happened. I think Jug saved us from him. 
What? Jug can do that? That's kind of wild. All right, well, I'm going to cut to the next time he shows up. Oh, he's back. Where is he? Where are you hiding at, bitch? Oh, there you are. Do something. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's twice Jug has saved me. Maybe I should just lose Jug. I think I'll do that. Zombies, go ahead. Oh, wait, I didn't have a self-revive? Oh, he just ate my self-revive is what happened. And Jug's been saving me this whole time? Well, that was a little anticlimactic. Oh, well. All right, let's go check out these camos. All right, so this is what the baseball bat looks like with Zombies Mastery camos. This is Gold Viper and probably the best look we're going to get at the bat with any camos on it. Not too bad. It kind of looks like a normal bat, but they just put a snake on it. It's just snake pattern bat. This is Plague Diamond. This looks really good. The, the coverage on this is pretty nice. The handle is always going to be that secondary color. The rest of the bat is going to be whatever the... the main part of the camo is this dime on plague diamond it's all the diamonds looks pretty good this is dark aether on it looks really good too i just wish we could see it when we're holding it in game but you know just to cover our bases let's go ahead to hop in game and see what it looks like there all right here's what the bat looks like in game obviously the inspect is not very good for inspecting the weapon it's a cool animation but would have liked to see more of the weapon uh let me try to swing it a little bit you can get little glimpses of it eh, i mean it looks pretty good you know for what we can see not a bad looking weapon but that was uh that was interesting it was fun to do that easter egg again it's been a while uh, again i'm gonna go ahead and shameless plug the other video where we did that and we defeated him so if you want to see that a uh, link to that will be somewhere on the screen on the video or in the description but i think that's where we're gonna end today's video so if you guys like this and you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't and you don't don't dislike if you're new here please ensure to subscribe and put out all kinds of content throughout the week uh, if you want to keep up with me outside of youtube follow my instagram my twitter links to those are in the description below as well as a link to our discord if you want to join that but that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later